What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode here on the Lumberjack Underground video series teaching us how to make this game. In this episode, it's going to be a pretty easy episode. We are just going to be creating our actual Lumberjack dude. I believe we're going to call him Jack because we're really original around here. So let's uh, jump right in. Go ahead, go over to your entities.js file. Under helpers, let's create jack by creating a class here and jack he's gonna need a few things so let me scroll down here all right so jack we're gonna pass in an image we're gonna pass in an x a y a width and a height he is, has a sound so he has a sound let's see this dot jump sound so every time he jumps he makes a new sound so we'll set that equal to a new audio instance passing as a string the location which is audio slash lumberjack underscore jump dot mp3 just like that and Let's go ahead and set, he has a sprite. So we are gonna set the original starting out sprite as the image of him just standing there. So let's see, let's pull up our sprite sheet here. Okay, we're just gonna set it as this one. Well, you can't even see the top left corner, you can't see my mouse. Um, the top left corner one is gonna be our starting out image. So that will be easy. All we need to do is create a new, um, sorry, entities dot helpers dot sprite. I'll pass in the image that we're passing in. And then we need a source X as zero, source Y as zero and the width and height of our character, which on the sprite sheet is 16 by 16. Okay, and let's go ahead, let's add in, um, on him we'll need to know the direction that he's going. So as starting out, we'll set it as a string of right. We need to know his velocity, so how fast he's traveling um, up. And we'll set that to zero right now. That will change when he jumps. And we'll do that functionality in a bit. And we'll do the X, how fast he moves left and right. We'll put it at 3.8. And we can add coins. So this variable is going to be every time he jumps into a coin, we'll add to it. So that way we can update the score that way and know how many coins he's collected. So last we need the x, the target x, the target y, the target width, and where we're placing him, how tall we're placing him on the canvas on those ones. Okay, and then lastly, let's uh, go ahead and create this sprite animations. Um, yeah and we'll set that equal to an object. Okay, so now in this one, I need to create a bunch of animations. If you saw in the image, you'll see here, we have him running right, um, standing right, he's jumping right, and he does the same left as well. So we need all those different animations. So what I can do is I'll name this guy walk right set it equal to an object and inside of there we have frames which would be an array of um, sprites that we create and then I'll just need a current frame set that equal to zero for now then we'll do the same for walk left so I can go like this name this walk left 
And then I don't actually need frames or current frame for standing right, standing left, and jumping left because there's just one of them. So what I can do is I can just do stand right. That's going to be equal to the entity. It's actually this guy that we have up here. So let's just copy him like that. And I need to do the same thing for stand left, except for, of course, these coordinates are going to change. So it is x value of 50, y value of 18, still 16, 16. And then we can do jump left. Same thing. We'll change the values. It's 67 and 18 like that still 16 by 16 and last but not least we need jump right and those values are 67 and 0 just like that let's save okay let's go up to our frames here and we just need to add in the same idea we need four of them the first one is at 16 0 16 16 the next one is going to be 32, 0. And the next one after that is 48, 0, 16, 16. We'll copy one more and create one more at, oh no, these ones only have three. So there's three different images, so we don't need four. So save it like that. And we can do the same thing down here. The first one is at 34, 18. Let me copy that guy, create another object in this array. It is then at 18, 18, and the last sprite image that we need is at 2 and 18, just like that. Let's go ahead and save that. Okay, perfect. We have our lumberjack guy our character pretty much created other than his state machine on handling how he's jumping and moving and everything um, we'll do that in later episodes last thing i want to do um before the next episode we'll actually draw him to the screen and then add gravity so he kind of like he falls down and whatnot but um ooh, i want to come up here to our init function and i want to actually add our mario or create not mario but jack i want to create him so we'll do var jack set him equal to a new instance of Jack. I need to then pass in data dot uh, data dot sprite sheet as the image. Um, I want him to start out at 60 pixels over from the left of the screen, zero. So I want him to start at the top, and then I want him to not be 16 by 16. I want him to be by 64 by 64. Okay, so now we have an instance of him created. We just need to add him to our data entities down here. And I'll just do data.entities.jack. And we'll set him equal to Jack. Save that. Perfect. All right, guys, that was uh, quick and easy. There might be a couple bugs in there. We'll find them out in the next episode when we try to draw Mario, or excuse me, not Mario, Jack. That's Jack to the screen. So quick and easy, not too bad. Um, let's get right into it. Now's the fun part. The next episode is decent, but the episode after that is real fun. We start working with the state machine and, and controlling him and moving him and, you know, adding all this stuff. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode later.